of Native Americans, allies, advocates, who participated in the many, many hours of testimony prior to the City Council vote on August 30th of last year. That's when we made history. The City Council voted to replace Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day, righting a historical wrong of epic proportions. And this is just the first step. As we all know, many Native Americans have celebrated Indigenous Peoples Day on the second Monday of October since at least 1970. And it was on that second Monday of October that Columbus Day uh, became a federal holiday in 1937. But that is falling. The dominoes are falling and cities and states across the country are eliminating Columbus Day and replacing it with Indigenous Peoples Day, righteously so. We've always chosen to mark the occasion as a day of remembrance for our ancestors while dispelling the myth that Columbus Day discovered America or really anything else. This year we celebrate the survival, resilience, and contributions of Native Americans who sacrificed everything, everything, to make it possible for all of us to live and prosper right here in Los Angeles. Now, the historic record is unambiguous. It's very, very clear what Christopher Columbus himself was responsible for. We felt that in Los Angeles, with the largest population of any county in the United States, of indigenous people and Native Americans, we felt that it was the right thing to do in the right place. I didn't then appreciate the fact that the implications would be much more wide than what they turned out to be. So us taking the action, and as has been mentioned, we're the largest population of any state or city to flip the switch, as I call it. But it has implications way beyond Los Angeles. In 1492, when Columbus and his band of mercenaries landed on the shores of what is now Haiti and the Dominican Republic, they set in motion the greatest genocide ever known on the planet in recorded history. The entire Western Hemisphere, South America, the West Indies, the islands, North America, and so us taking this symbolic act, this gesture, to finally recognize and reclaim our history right here in Los Angeles has national and world implications. So when we celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day on October 8th, and we're so looking forward to it, it is going to be a celebration, we know that we're making a statement much larger than can fit within the boundaries of the city of Los Angeles. So it is in that spirit that we celebrate, and we know that we're just beginning something much more uh, important, I think, than, than just Los Angeles. Uh, so I just want to thank everyone, uh, all of the people around us today who've helped make this happen and are going to make this a wonderful event. Everyone's welcome to October 8th, first ever Indigenous Peoples Day. And if anyone has any questions, we're here to answer them. Thank you. Uh, I feel so proud to be part of this event. Uh, we're going to create part of history where uh, the continent in the past has been dismembered. All the tribes are kind of separated from each other because of borders and identities. And hopefully things like this are going to help us remember it back together. So I'm glad that I'm creating part of history in our city of L.A. And uh, a lot of respect goes out to our Tongva relatives that are the original land landlords of this land. So thank you.